Hello everybody, I'm Count Christo and welcome back to the Austrian Phoenix Rises campaign. It has been quite a while since we last ventured into the wonderful world of Kaiserreich in House 4. So, we're going to do a bit more of it today. I am on stream, we're going to do one last very long part on YouTube to finish off this campaign because I've mostly lost interest, if I'm being honest. So we're going to do what we can to storm through, crush Russia, crush France, and then we'll pretty much call it a day at that point. Stream chat, do tell me how the audio balance is while I just ping the Discord. Alright, cool. Let's get it going. So, looks like we're launching a uh, bit of a tiger offensive up here. Bear, whatever. Cool. Uh, easy pocket here, looks like. You neutral? Yeah, okay. Good. Well, then we will uh, we'll do what we can to launch a little bit of a attack in here. There we go. Get a bit of a pocket going there. Where's my game audio? Give me a second. Hey, Zero Zero, how you doing? Wait, why are you the German Empire? We formed the German Empire. It was glorious. All right, there's game sound. Uh, but of course, we don't have the music because we have the beautiful tunes. Alright, that sounds about the right volume to me. Because we are the glorious German Empire, we reformed it as Austria. Austria, of course, having a far better claim to the title of the German Empire than Prussia does, having ruled the HRE for so many years. Okay, uh, we have some political power. We should probably go towards uh, service by requirement. Or... Ooh, that's cool. Party popularity is shown up here. Hey! Kai's right, that is very cool. Hey Zink, hey Zef. How Des Chain. Hey Russian, how you all doing? Let's do, uh, it's just too extensive for now. We have got uh, reasonably good war support, so it should mobilize fairly fast. What are you doing with this front line, Russia? Let's pin them here. Of course, the pinning might have to actually lose in order for it to be effective. Bona. How is the audio balance, please? Twitch chat. Let me know. So, rifle trials are finished. Uh, six mil factories. Not bad. This plus stuff's all rubbish, I remember. Uh, yeah, just going down to extra org seems good. Armor tech. Ooh, cool. New icons. I really don't care much. Uh, I don't think we're going to need new armor, but sure. Let's do it in case we want to pivot to medium tank. Okay, so the tank push. This is the plan, it looks like. Execute. Uh, let's go up here. Who am I to disagree with my past self? That's what would be a good plan. Flute solo is at good volume. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Russians launching offensives all the way along the front. Very bad idea. Just easy little pockets. We don't have any other wars, right? Oh yeah, islands in this one. <laughs> and of course, the Turkmenistan Khanate is holding their own because Russia is so distracted over here. Easy little pocket here. As well pull that off too. You guys keep coming out this way. You guys just widen this pocket. Looking good. Marvelous. North pocket of course easily closed. Oh hello. I smell another pocket potentially. Zeph is old? <laughs> Excuse me? Oh you mean the name. Let's see. Not that interested in breaking the line up in the north right now. I think we'll focus on just annihilating their army down in the south for the time being. If you want to lend these me stuff, that's fine. Are you guys my puppets down in the Balkans? They are. Good. The Divinity soundtrack, excuse the pun, is divine. What's the different infantry templates that we've got going right now? We've got... These ones are Ukrainian... 
40s. There's a Bulgarian 20s. That's our 20s and our 40s. Okay. Always important to know your templates so you're aware what you're throwing at your enemy. Let's keep these up. Good. It's one of the things that Hoi 3 did really well, having a uh, a number stat for each of the units, showing you what their rough attack and defense value was. Music could be a bit quieter. All right. Let's try that. See how that shakes out. Oh, hang on. I've mucked something up. There we go. Okay. Alright. Bit of a pocket here already. Oh no, the southern tanks have come north. Oh no, no. I'm just looking at this wrong. Okay. Uh, you guys. Sure, keep going north. As long as you can. Seems fine. We should be able to pocket all these guys at Kursk. Tank battles near Kursk. Very appropriate. Although it's really not not a tank battle, is it? Tank versus infantry. More of a stomp, really. So there's the pocket. The launch offensives all the way along the line now. Let's just get this closed as soon as possible. Fantastic. Late game, Hoy, man. It's kind of easy. Mm. What are you guys doing, though? If you're going to attack, attack. Convincingly. Infantry support's getting a bit spread out now that we've got so many assigned to the pocket. Let's keep deploying some of these guys out to the line. Just fill this out. So where should we do the next pocket? Probably here. We could do a long crush east here with the tanks. Yeah, let's do that. U8. Are they all down here or are some in the north? That's no, different. No, okay, we don't have any in the north. Okay. So let's just delete all your orders. You're going to go here. You're going to blitz over here. It's going to be glorious. Looks like Russia's flag. No, Serbia wants to give us some equipment. That's quite all right. Hey, Vicky, how you doing? You didn't get the ping for Discord or Twitch. No idea why Hoy is the only one. Only way to know direction moving is to look at the 3D model. What do you mean? You can tell which way this guy's moving because he's on that side of the square. You can also, you know, select him. What are you talking about? What's the challenge? Are you just trying to play casually? But Stuart, you've lost around ability to doing what you've lost around 300 hours of in gaming experience ago. What? DPS. On the topic of music, only over blue maybe realize how much influences the game. Bit you guys for being limited during videos to avoid copyright. Yeah, the over blue music pack is pretty cool. But oh well, Divinity soundtrack is better, in my opinion. But then you know, Divinity fanboy. So another easy pocket here. Do, 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 do. The challenge, what, there wasn't a particular challenge. We were just playing as Austria. Seeing what we could do with ourselves. Let's just neaten out this front line a little bit here. Do, 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 do. I think he was saying you must have lost the ability to play the game casually after playing so much. No. Mm. No, I'm still quite content to play casually these days. Even after, what's it been? 1,500 hours. I still very much enjoy just playing for fun. Do, do, do. Okay, so uh, let's actually make this a, a little bit of a quicker pocketing maneuver. We'll just crush around behind the river. Like that. And just wrap this up nice and quick. Uh, we're going to want some infantry support in here. We've got far higher concentration in the south, so we'll use them. But yeah, this should be a fairly uncontested stomp, I have to imagine. The power of our 40 width tanks is uh, pretty substantial right now. 750 base breakthrough is very nice. Crossing rivers, of course, always a problem, but uh, that's fine. We can just sneak around behind them. When can we expect a Granada video? 
Uh, what time is it? Uh, in 40 minutes. You can expect to another video in 40 minutes. Let's get some more encryption. How does Original Sin 2 compare to Deadfire? It's much better. Uh, it's better in almost every way. Turn-based combat is far more engaging, far more tactical. Uh, the story is massively more interesting. Uh, what else? The world is far more varied. It's not totally open world, which allows it to have distinct stages to the game, which makes it feel like the acts are far more pronounced in Divinity. It's such a good game. I might... I don't know. It's very, very good. I love Divinity 2. It might be... It's up against fierce competition, but it might be my favourite RPG of all time. Pillars 1 held that title, I think, for a while. I never really hammered out which I thought was better. In case you're not familiar, by the way, especially YouTube viewers, I imagine, uh, Divinity 2 is a fantastic RPG, which you must have heard of, by Larian Studios. Lar Larian Studios, I think. Deadfire 2 is fun, though. I don't know if I'm going to finish it. Um, I beat Act, I think, 3, or maybe 2, I'm not sure. But, I don't know. Combat in that game is just not very fun. Plus, the graphics in Divinity are amazing. Isn't Divinity 2, like, crazy stupid broken from a balance point of view? I wouldn't know. I never read the strategy guides that are why everyone knows these things. <laughs> broken how? Like, broken easy? Or broken, like, one class is the best or something? I don't know. I had a great challenging time playing Divinity. Uh, I played it on hard first campaign through, because that's what you just should do if you're playing a, like a tactics RPG, otherwise you don't, you don't get the experience, you have to, you have to struggle in your first campaign. Personally I think it makes the story better if you play on hard, because it, you feel the challenge that you're supposed to be feeling, whereas if you just play everything on easy or medium first time through, and honestly these days, you know, call me, call me uh, lacking modesty or whatever, I really feel like medium is easy these days, <laughs> in terms of that kind of uh, that kind of RPG. Oh, I forgot to close this pocket in the north. It's been a while. Or rather, I forgot to complete this pocket in the north. But yeah, broken hell. Hmm. So I got my degree result today. That was fun. I got a 2-1. Which is kind of annoying, because I should have got a first. But, oh well. I don't mean should like I deserve to. I mean should like... If things had just gone a bit better and I had worked harder, I could have got it. But, never mind. Po proved oil pressing. Nice. We are pretty still short on oil. Can we get the next one straight away? Yes. Let's do so. But, yeah. Second highest rank you can get in terms of degrees. I'll take it. What country are you playing as? We are playing as the German Empire, formerly Austria. Sorry, formerly the Danubian Federation, formerly Austria. Broken is a couple of class combos, outclass everything else by a mile. Uh, yeah, it could be. I've, like I said, I've no idea because I don't don't read guides. At least I try not to. I think I read a guide in, in Divinity like twice, just to find where the heck a secret area was or something. After having spent hours hunting around the map. What's this? What are you for? They're probably just the new deployment. Yeah, looks that way. How did that happen? We are playing Kaiserreich. We took everything and formed Germany. Oops, that's a little foolish of me. <laughs> you might be able to turn it around on them, though. Okay. Kampfgroup, fantastic. We will, of course, get modern Blitzkrieg, make our tanks the very best, the best there ever was. Instead of the lesser version German Reich. <laughs> yes, pretty much. Artillery modernization. We'll keep going down. Just neaten up this front a bit for me. 
Actually, don't. Go for the pocket instead. It's coming from the north. I will be right back. I need to take a phone call. But I shall be back relatively shortly. See you in a second. Sorry about this. Alrighty, sorry about that. <clears throat> right, let's carry on. Sorry about the brief interlude. Alright. Where were we? Ah, oh, yes. I managed to foolishly get myself pocketed, I recall. Why'd I go and do that then? Let's move this attack east so it actually pockets a larger portion of their army. Excuse me? Thank you. Let's crush those guys. You asked a question. What was your question? Hello, everybody. Hello, you stinky Danny. Anyway, 
What's going on? Yes, this is the continuation of the Austria campaign that's on YouTube. These guys appear to have lost their orders. Let's rearrange this region. Quite substantially rearrange this region, actually. These all balanced. There we go. Great. I hear attrition. Excuse me? End up being a bit longer than I'd thought. I've thought. What, you thought this campaign would be a short one? I'm not sure I follow. <laughs> right. Close this pocket. More manpower? I think. Probably. Right. Let's just push the front here. Uh, let's go for an infantry pocket. When I have tanks, I, I tend to dislike doing them, but... I meant your wall of text above. Where is your wall of text above? Uh, I didn't send. It was too long. I'm afraid. Twitch doesn't like long messages. Industry tech, probably. Yeah. Keep getting that. Concy. No one calls it Concy. <laughs> so, if our tanks, tanks strike north from here, just basically go straight up to Novgorod and meet the infantry there. That'll probably work. We might get a bit stretched out, but honestly, they haven't got the numbers to seriously provide opposition at this point. Some guy's still moving across. Fair enough. Twitch doesn't like walls. No, it doesn't. Mr. Zicky, rewrite that wall. At least you can still copy paste it. <clears throat> it's not like it's gone anywhere. Should we go down to speed two? Do we have planes? I completely forgot about the air war. <laughs> I'll be honest. We do have some planes. We should take this air base. So we can base them out of there. <clears throat> it is true, most people don't like text walls. Can I resend it as parts? Yes, you can. Point was, uh, question is, if there's a point to join the Axis for Italy, in Japan, if their solo parts are better and nothing's them to helping against the Allies, even as part of another faction. No, not particularly. Um, the only reason to join the Axis would be if you wanted to call Germany into other wars. Which might be useful to you, of course. But if you don't need their help, then no, there's not much reason to join. And I wouldn't join, because I don't like joining the AI. Just as on a principle. I consider it a matter of ethics. I don't, but there you go. Do, 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 do. do you? Thank you. Do, 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 Just keep plowing north. Okay. How goes our pocketing maneuvers in the north? Perfectly satisfactory. Good. Du -du 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 -du. Press on. As you were. Dun -dun 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 -dun. So I'm sorry to those of you on YouTube who don't like the Twitch style of content. That's fair enough. It's your right. Uh, and want me to do this as full episodes and all that good stuff to finish this off this campaign. But really, <clears throat> it's just lost its luster to me. So I'm afraid you will have to make do with this. The French will put up at least a bit of a fight. Probably. They might not. <laughs> we might be able to just plow through them with ridiculous tank numbers. 
Meant mostly in multiplayer games. Oh, right. Uh, yes, absolutely. So you can base... You can't base uh, planes out of their air bases if you're not in their faction. So join the faction. Unless you have an airplane controller. You stop by to check whether you've conquered the world yet. No, I haven't, Gandalf. Not quite. It's funny, seeing, seeing a German Empire shaped like this really reminds me of Victoria 2. <coughs> Forming Super Germany. It's always fun. I just want to take this airbase. That's all I want. Give me the airbase. Let's try and cut east, meet up with our tank force. The dash is still working here. By the way, have you heard of Historia Realis? I mentioned you to the dev and he said he might give you a copy of the better when it's out. That's very nice of him. No, I have not heard of it. What is it? Not being a war and thus allowing Germany to trade with you. Germany could trade with you anyway, right? Synthesizing is not so bad, to be fair. It's, it's perfectly viable to synthesize a crap ton of oil and rubber as the axis. Loss, loss, loss. Indeed, loss. What he said. Right. You guys, strap redeploy, please. Thank you. You. Awesome. The same. Thank you. Do, 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 do. If you surround some pieces of egg, would you cut off their supply? No, I think they fixed that bug. All watching are infected with gay. What are you on about? <laughs> That's not a sentence that makes me feel especially comfortable. <laughs> Small game on internal politics of the Roman Republic. Sounds fun. Clearing the, up this area. You might be right, Danny, but I thought I tested it and it didn't work anymore. But I absolutely could be wrong. There's our first Ukrainian army. Oh, right, I saw a lot of people down here apparently. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did test it. Army, four divisions. Excuse me? It's 21 divisions. Plus four divisions. Three now. There's no point in synthesizing oil since getting the Middle East. Liberia would be. I don't know. You probably should still synthesize some oil. There's only like 70 or so in the Middle East. I was about to check, but I think it's different in Kaiser, right? There's only about. What is there, like a hundred oil in the Middle East? You'll need more than that. The whole axis. Finally, uh, base acquired. We have to massively increase our operational efficiency. Good, good, good. Marvellous. I saw someone commenting on Facebook the other day that Hoi4 has too much micromanagement for them. I really don't think their, their future job prospects look that good. <laughs> not to be too mean. But Hoi4 does not have much micromanagement. Iran, Saudi Arabia, Balkan. It's true, I wasn't thinking about Romania. Even so, it's like 150. He a lot of oil late game. Build all those tanks and planes. Do, 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 do. Awesome. 
Do, 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 do. Just crush him. Good. Not sure about Kaiser. No, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm more interested in what it's like in Vanilla anyway. I don't remember what Kaiser Ike's resource. I don't even remember if Kaiser Ike does distribute resources differently. Let me just take a quick look. I think that is different. I think there's a lot less steel than normal. I'm not sure. Ding, 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 ding. Of course, it would make a lot of sense if Kaiser Ike distributed resources differently. All the rubber is in that uh, over in the Dutch East Indies. Yeah, pretty much all of it anyway. There's a bit in South America and a bit in Africa, but like a tiny, tiny bit. Ding, 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 da, 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 da. Now, where's the? Yeah, you. You can occupy this front area of the front. Ding, ding, ding. Bring them down. Good. Let's see a bit. Under spreading the Southern Army group now. There we go. Army, rather. Others just have small batches. Yes, that is true. Next guns. Might as well get that rapidly ahead of time. That'll be valuable. Against the Frenchies. <clears throat> so we will try encircling Petrograd and see if the bug still works. Gotta say, I kind of hope it doesn't. <laughs> but I won't be devastated if it does. <clears throat> Alright. Advancing on all fronts. Good. You guys have an order, right? Yeah, we just have speed three. Fair enough. Bum, 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 bum. The glorious advance still going well. Dun, dun, dun. And Sieg is near. Can I ask forgiveness from the other viewers to, for spamming? Don't worry about it. I'm sure they don't mind. If they wanted to be saying something, they'd be saying something. So, I think you're in the clear. Personally. Doo -doo -doo -doo. They really are getting a little thin on the front now, aren't they? Not able to actually fill it. It's embarrassing. Russia can't fill the front. The wall will tear it down. Sure, give me 5%. Do, 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 do. That's going to be a pain to break. Maybe you might want to stop them recovering org. Well, no, because you don't want to take the capital yet. So you want to test out this exploit. See if it still works. We can use makeshift bridges, so it won't be that hard to cross. We could also just go round. It's another very viable option. Do, 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 do. Just close that pocket off for me. Lovely. Establish another one. So many points of access for pockets with this few enemy troops opposing us. I have to resist playing Divinity 2 again because I know I wouldn't enjoy it that much. Don't know what those salt mines for the motherland. <laughs> Because I know I wouldn't enjoy playing Divinity 2 again as much, nearly as much if I played it now, and if I play it in like another two years or so. It's a really good game, though. Do -do 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 -do. Hmm. These guys are going to pocket my tanks in the north. How dare they even consider such a thing? Well, they're not actually, because we're about to take this tile, but they're threatening to. Back off. Let me peacefully go behind here. The exploit still works. Alright, well, we're about to find out. 
Of course, Kaiserite might have fixed it, so it's not really a fair test. Do you just, uh, do you just console check it? If you encircle, if you encircle the capital state, but not the capital itself, because here it is not working, right? Oh, Leningrad has a port, right? <laughs> so it wouldn't work, of course, until we took this port. <clears throat> All right, so we'll go take that port and see if that changes it. Take this area as well. Da, 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 da. Yo, yo, hey, Remus. Re -em, re I'm going to call you Rem. <laughs> How you doing? The glorious German Empire, formerly Danubian Federation, formerly Austria, is currently plowing their way to victory. Feng Tang government capitulates to Maclique. That freaking attack plan. There we go. We don't need nearly this many men manning this side of here. You can get a trait, probably infantry leader. No, you have ambusher. Ugh. Ugh. Why? Shot in Germany with Czech encircled Prague. Took all the other provinces in the capital state. Maybe it is having to have all the other capitals in the province uh, provinces in the capital state. That would make sense actually, because it can flow. It doesn't flow out of the capital per se. It flows out of the capital state. Okay, well we'll experiment. Oh yes, I forgot I was at war with Finland. That's right. They're in the Russian alliance, aren't they? That might cause some problems. <laughs> uh, we can afford to divert men from the south, though. If you let me look at this. It's just an embarrassment. I don't even fix that then because encirclements won't even work anymore. Sorry? You mean because there's a port? I think it will work if we take all the ports that the supply is going to. They don't have an eastern port, right? No, because Japan took it. Or rather, the Russian, the Far Eastern Republic took it and then joined the Korea Prosperity Sphere. I'm going to be honest, I don't really recall how that series of events played out. We'll probably just seize the capital then. But it definitely does still work, right? That's interesting. I thought we had fixed it. In which case, I have no problems with just plowing in here, then. We might have some encirclement issues if the Finns actually try and push. Did they fight a war with the Russians and lose? Are you a puppet, Finland? They are a puppet. You should take this opportunity to declare your independence, Finland. It would be good timing. If you encircle the city that itself, they'll have supplies for days. That's true. Because they'll get supplies directly from the city. Well, not for days. They get some supplies, but not much. It's pretty much time for my favourite metal band to start playing. Full Frontal Assault. Do do do. Moscow is within reach and they're not even able to man the borders around it. It's embarrassing. Frankly embarrassing. Leningrad, for example. Leningrad only provides, like, what is it? Four supply in this mod. It would provide more in the base game where it has higher victory point value. Or years. Leningrad did not have enough supplies. They were eating each other. <laughs> I mean this quite literally. Why do the Russians have so few troops? Because we pulled off a lot of encirclements. Like a lot. How many Russians have we killed so far? Only a million, actually. And they have... Uh, 
about that again, fielded. <clears throat> but yeah, it's mostly because we've been pulling off encirclement after encirclement. Also, it's Kaiserite Russia, remember. A lot weaker than Vanilla Russia. Substantially weaker. And uh, they lost land in the east to the Russian, to the uh, Japanese, and the Turkestan Khanate is occupying a lot of their troops down here as well. They're allied to Iran? No, they have a good opinion of them. Okay. Iran is taking on the Cairo Pact with gusto here. It's impressive. How much war score do you have compared to Turkestan? Uh, let's look. They have 34%, uh, we have 63. Which is, of course, ridiculous. Because we've done almost all of it, but oh well. No matter. Uh, it's time for this. Just make me... Make me win, please. There's no one opposing us on large portions of this front, so... I don't see any good reason not to just do this. And I know I have said on many occasions, I've gone on record as saying the only reason she's battle plans is laziness. And this is true, but in some cases, laziness is not such a burden. Alright, go, go, go. Viborg will be mine. We need to take at least one province of Finland so they're in the peace deal. Video in 10 minutes? Yes, indeed. You know this track. You should do. It's a fantastic tune. On you go. Marching on. So, how much more do we need to take? Not that much. They're at 67% right now. I haven't played the game yet, but I can almost name it. I can't. I don't think I could name this song. I think it's something Rest or... Let me check. A part of their story, this is. Portugal's capitulated. Huh. Oh, yes, that's how the Third International got to war with the Entente, isn't it? I recall. Excuse me, I need to sneeze. Ah, pardon me. Right. Everything ticking along. A few battles not necessarily going our way. I haven't deployed the tanks properly, really. There's no real reason for us to push against Finland, as far as I can see, as long as they don't become major, which they really shouldn't. Puppets should not be allowed to be majors, by the way. Unfortunately, in the base game, they can. Don't know if they can in Kaiserreich. Probably. Rush Tsarin. Where is Tsarin? I'm not familiar with this name. I've heard it before. Where are you going, dude? You're just deepening your encirclement at this point. Isn't it Stalingrad? Oh, it's Stalingrad, okay. That's here, right? No. Starting to be down here, yeah. It's true, we should probably rush that, actually. See if we can get it before them. Looks like we are. They just drove them back a step here. Puppet shouldn't be allowed to be major. Yes, this is correct, in my opinion. <clears throat> there we go. Got it. Wipe out these poor encircled troops down here. Whoops. How the heck did I manage to click on my desktop from behind the game? Very weird. Speaking of major cities, I don't think... Don't you think that they should make... Just make an old world blues? What? <laughs> I'm sorry. IRL US, uh, US is the puppet of Russia and it's still a major. Yeah, hilarious. <laughs> 
do do we should take this victory point shouldn't we or Israel Israel is not a major <laughs> obviously you Kagami established do do Glorious, you guys just keep petting east. Great. Rush Archangel, please. Do, do. Great. What determines whether they are major or not? To do with the number of factories. If you're a leader of a faction, you're always a major. Uh, there's a number of factors, basically. It's the long and the short of it. Number of factories relative to the world. Also just raw number of factories. Being a leader of faction. There are some others, but I don't recall them. Ooh, this is a good track. It is a good track, isn't it? Excuse me? Get out of the city. My city. My 888 breakthrough will tear the city from your grasp. There they go. And peace deal. Thank you. Okay, well, first off, most importantly, we need to take Ireland. Oh, they weren't in touched in the war, so we can't take them. Sad times. Well, let's take Finland first. Make sure we get all of them. So we get the properly scripted pieces. And then, sure, take the rest of the Scandinavian region. Well, I think Scandinavia is actually just from here, like here, this way. Actually. Don't really mind what we take and what they get, because we're going to make it into a puppet anyway. Took a bit more than I intended, so there we go. Let's pass twice so we get lots of points. Bit of a risk when you do that, but usually you're fine. Usually I find you get away with it. It looks like they had a certain amount they wanted and they aren't taking more. It's my impression, I'm guessing, anyway. You can see as you begin to take... No, they are taking more. As you begin to take land that you haven't got uh, occupied, it becomes much more expensive. Or rather, that someone else has occupied. Do, 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 do. Finland still has land? Where? Oh, Aland, of course. There we go. Look at that border gore. <laughs> In before border gore, yeah. <laughs> Congrats for getting yourself a gulag camp. Yeah, it's true. We now have a sizable chunk of Siberia under our grasp. Okay, so, uh, redeploy to the French front. Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. Which we can cancel in, like, two weeks. Okay. All orders get deleted. Oh, you can't do that that way? It's annoying. Just make sure no one else has any orders. Okay. So. Where are the crack troops? Here they are. No, actually... Well, we'll just use them all, it's fine. One army can just handle a dealing with this area. Did you guys join? No. Do, 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 do. I think we're going to do full frontal and absolutely annihilate them. Actually, uh, we're going to have to justify normally. I should have started justifying before we ended that war. Oh, well. We can just speed five it. We're going to have a ridiculous concentration of troops on this border. I'm not going to do sensible battle plans. Because it would take too long. It wouldn't make a lick of difference. Although, probably shouldn't give the tanks quite such a generic plan. Now I take two seconds to think about it. And we will be sending... Oh, what was that? Choppy the Bear just subscribed to Twitch Prime. Thank you very much, Choppy. We'll start your series tomorrow, by the way. 
Your Twitch audio keeps cutting in and out. Does anyone else have that? If they do, I'll look into it. Should be fine. I'm not dropping frames. So, the Italians managed to hold out, eh? Very impressive. Aland is Swedish. <laughs> Aland is Swedish in CK2, so it's Swedish as far as I'm concerned. Finland's fake country anyway. Everyone tell Lambert. <laughs> we'll start off with a quick pocket here. Then probably a parish da parish. Paris, my lord. Dash. Free tank. Free tanks. Free factories, what I meant to say. There we go. Uh, we have a new type of infantry equipment unlocked. Mechanized. Yeah, we don't want any of that. Okay, speed five. The fate of Russia. We will liberate Russia and Siberia. <clears throat> probably problem on Twitch for half. Yeah, probably. It's the app, is it? Bad luck. Man, the lag. <clears throat> Founding new, com new countries tends to take a little while. Siberia is getting a lot of countries. A lot of provinces, Yun. Stop ignoring my messages. Sorry, what do you say? Please notice the imager link. Alright, I'll check it out while this thing's loading. Couple of still working. You're right, it is still working. So it must be that previously when I tested it, I just didn't take the whole state. Much better on your PC. Glad to hear it. Tanatuva! Tana where? Finland, liberate them. Okay, marvellous. The eastern part of the map redrawn in our image. Poland's going to be a pain in this war, aren't they? I forgot about them. So who else do we need to worry about with the international? It's just Poland that borders us. Okay. So, in that case, I'll divert two armies to deal with Poland. <clears throat> One like this. And one like this. That is inconvenient that it's not wanting to let me draw it where I want to put it. Well, all right then, Poland. I'll give you three armies. Since you insist on getting a third, here you are. And by Poland, I'm including Belarus, but I think Belarus is a puppet of Poland. Yeah, so we can include them as one, one and the same, really. Bum, bum, bum. So we're not going to be quite so ridiculously compact on the front line. But we're still going to have a lot of men per tile. Any mods? Wait, this is Kaiserreich. Yes, this is Kaiserreich. No, this is Vicky 3. <laughs> Christo, the video isn't up yet. Let me check for you. You're right, it's not. I must have got the time wrong. I'll put it up for you now. Yeah, it's going up in an hour, but I'll do it now. There you go. Have another Granada campaign episode. Paradox has three syllables. Oh, yeah, Vicky3 confirmed. Isn't Siberia screwed as an independent country? They have to import loads of their food. Yeah, but, I mean, they're not independent. They're our puppet, so we'll have a centralized control of the food of the food market anyway. Don't you worry. Oh, who is gonna go up here? You know, not have any orders. We'll see where everyone just shows up and then we'll deal with it. <laughs> Paradox has three syllables, Vicky three confirmed. I do like think that's quite funny. Oops. to switch something up on my other monitor. Sorry, give me one second here. There we go. Okay. Do, 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 do. Excuse me for a second. There we go. Okay. All right, back to Hoi. So, where are my men that are meant to be covering this one? Could rush to play these guys. Actually, don't even have to. 
could just take these guys and do it with them. We need a bluish uh, line color and a general and to be the destination of any new deployments. Good. Hang on a second. What have I done? I've mucked something up. Hang on. Can you hear me? I'd be kind of surprised if you could still hear me. No, you can. Yeah, that still works. Oh, I'm confused. There we go. Okay. I think I have it now, right now. Cool. Where were we? Right. France, France, France. Hmm. Time's are just fine. Hey, France. Only 30 day justify. Nice. Do, do. Gross Deutschland should be a formable nation. Meh, yeah, maybe. Alright, you guys. Let's have you on the front ready to help out the Italians the second we can. I must say, I'm very impressed by my Italian allies to the south. Even with us dishonouring our guarantee of them, they've managed to stand tall and hold the line against syndicalism in Italy very successfully. Now, their efforts are rewarded by vast reinforcements. Do, do, do. Can you try the Catholic exploit with France since you could already beat them in the war? Yeah, good idea. We'll see if it still works. Good thought, that man. Political power. Sure. Give me some buffs to those tanks. And we're going to rush deploy these three. Where'd they go? Ah, oh, right, of course. I had them on the Russian front. Well, let's get them straight. Oops, excuse me. Let's get them straight over here. Ready for the quick dash here. Ally. My Italian's allies that we abandoned. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. Give me a bit of artillery. It really doesn't matter at this point. We're just going to steamroll France, then we're pretty much done. Should be easy. Are you going to use Russian manpower? Nah. Frankly, we don't need it. How dare you, Greece? This insult will not be forgotten. What a Christo stream. I know. Pretty rare these days, eh? <laughs> All right. But they won't be anymore, hopefully. If I stay on track, I'm going to do a lot more streaming. I'm also surprised. Yeah, fair enough. Fire brigade's done. Sweet. Let's keep plowing on. Construction deck. Nice. I'll just let them finish building. We have very few civilian factories. Because we have so many being used as... Uh... Don't we have, like, disaster or something? Yeah, we're at very low stability. <laughs> Which is not helping, but... Oh, well. Oh, well. They are quite rare. You're not wrong. Do -do 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 -do. Hmm. There we go. All right, well, wartime. Should probably have redeployed the Air Force first, but oh well. It's fine, we can do it now. Great, which means these guys can now fight here successfully. You can't invite you to the faction. Can I draw front lines in your territory yet? No, it's unfortunate. Christo, pick up the talking of Vicky 3, dropped it before. What do you. Th what do you think we can expect, judging by Hoi 4 mechanics? 
There's no point trying to expect things about Mickey 3 right now, because as far as I know, it's not even in development. So just hold your horses when it comes to Victoria 3. Let's see if we can just push straight across this river. Britain joins them. No surprises. It looks like we probably can push directly across the river, which is quite fun. Especially once we get all our air in the in the sky. They are, of course, going to reinforce this point, though. Yeah, let's just do the smart thing. And push up here and then across. With heavy infantry support. Much smarter. All kinds of people want all kinds of things. And they're all going to say no. Uh, none of this really matters. Let's just do air production. Sure. Why not? Barely producing any planes, but that'll do just fine. Okay, and you guys. Let's do this right. Get a pocket established. SPRT? Yeah, SPRT. No problems. They haven't deployed their air force. I'm very impressed by our allies. Uh, yes, sure. Every, all my puppets can come join. So yeah, the Russian state is already a major again. <laughs> despite being a recently puppeted nation with two troops. <laughs> oh right, yeah, Poland. I forgot about you. Honestly, just... Uh, just activate. There's so few of them. Ah, oh, these guys apparently have lost their front line. Can they still attack? Seems like it. Ah, oh, but these guys haven't accepted the call yet. They should do. Right? Excuse me? Call to arms? Call all? Why does that not work? Bizarre. Anyway, we'll do it this way. Do do do. We have to do it the hard way. We'll do it the hard way. Serbia, you too. Marvelous. Which means now we can crush in from up up here. Yeah. The whole Polish block is going to fall extremely quickly. Do do. It's still not southern Germany, isn't it? Yeah. Poland's strong. Poland's face. Oh no, wait. Germans noticed we existed again. <laughs> yeah. They haven't actually called their puppet, which is interesting. The puppet is at war with Muscat. What? <laughs> Are they in the Entente? Yeah, okay, that makes sense then. So yeah, this river crossing, of course, will be much easier than to an entrenched, fully organized unit. Then we can just push across here for a nice easy pocket of these northern guys. There we go. They did call in the Belarusians in the end. And apparently there's some Manchurians. Some Feng Tan government troops holding this area. Very interesting. Out of date production? On what? Oh, I have another line of infantry equipment. Fair enough. Got a little bit of a steel deficit. It's fine. Our Russian puppets. Happy. Overjoyed. To oblige. There goes Warsaw. Excuse me, the land went to Portugal. Alrighty then. <laughs> Whatever you say, game. You can declare war on enemy puppets without war goals. Yes, this is true. I had forgotten that momentarily. Thank you for the reminder. Siberia wants to join our allies. Absolutely. I forget. Does. What the heck? Ah, oh, Sardinia has landed. You go, Sardinia. Does Germany exist? Yes, they still do. The German government in exile is still bumming around down there. Do Oh, actually still struggling to cross this river. I think we're going to manage to, though. We'll have to see, though. Do, 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 do. Might as well just keep driving them back in preparation for that pocket closing. It's like some Canadians. No, sorry, there's a Brits, right? Do do do. With the strange new British flag. 
So Portugal got this land and are immediately losing it again to the Poles. <laughs> Why do you port too much aluminium? I'm not importing any aluminium. Do you mean steel? Because you can import you import in integers of uh, intervals of 80 with this kind of puppet. So I can only import at minimum 80. For 150. <clears throat> Marvellous. Yeah. Easy VP rush into Belarus. I'm surprised we're not crossing this river. Get it done. Let's try a different strategy. The massed infantry push. Can I attack from this direction? No, I don't think so. Hmm. We'll see. Bum, ba -dum, bum. All right, is that Belarusia done? Not even close. Ah, oh, right. Still a BP here. That's fine. Just keep spreading out, capturing all we can. The fact that Portugal lost that tile to Poland actually gave us control of that state, so I can hardly grumble. New tech. Um... I don't know. Anything about to finish? Not really. I mean, sure. Start on nukes and give me some ahead of time encryption. We're never going to use either, but oh well. Hey! <laughs> How are you? I'm pretty good, thank you. Got my degree result today. I did pretty well, so I'm pretty pleased about that. Holes offensive. It's not going very well in the north right now. We need to reconsider our strategy here. Let's wait for the other guys to arrive and then reconsider our strategy. We might go through the Swiss. An old strategy of mine. Used to Adaway's great displeasure on that one occasion. Are you still not capitulated? My lord. Give it up already, Belarusia. Where's my OBS gone? Kaiserwerk has unique images and names for equipment. They do. I think that might be new. Maybe it's just new to to Austria. You see the new Kaiserwerk spin-off, Führerreich. I did indeed. I haven't tried it yet properly. I gave it a quick look, but you know, I loaded it up basically. But I haven't actually played a game yet. Is it any good? Doom, doom, doom. So how you doing, old chat? How's your day been? There it goes. Belarusia again, capitulating to Portugal. <laughs> Bizarrely enough. We got some of the land this time, though. So, France. How are we going to break you? Oh, of course, we'll just go through the Netherlands. <laughs> How did the Schlieffen plan take that long to occur to me? <laughs> Sorry, Schlieffen plan would be through Belgium, but the Bel they, they own most of Belgium, so it's close enough. That's amazing. <laughs> Playable. Playable is not a uh, not a term I like to hear used about something when I'm thinking about playing it. It's not nearly high enough praise to make me excited about trying something out. So we'll just bring over all the Polish troops in order to uh, to execute our Schlieffen plan 2.0. Let's just merge the front. We've definitely wrapped up all pockets over here. Yes. Good. We'll delete this nonsense. Bring these Ukrainian divisions over here too. Magnificent. And you guys are some Easterners. No? Who are the, who are the other Easterners over here? You. Good. 
Give me your orders, and let's be having you. Marvellous. Huge concentration of force. Going to pound through here. Anyone had any idea what man the guns is going to bring slash change? I have quite a good idea. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> but there's been lots of dev diaries. No, they haven't. There haven't been any dev diaries. There's going to be a dev diary next week. Which will be fun. It's going to bring alt history for the USA. Revamp focus trees for the USA and UK. All kinds of lovely stuff. To be very excited about. But they do pay me. <laughs> But I think that's sincerely true. How do you not have any tanks in Russia? Huh. How about oil? No. Siberia has some, though. Let's get a bit off them. Oh, Ukraine has a bunch, too. Nice. Overstack strunk. Darn right. Alright, you guys join in here. Which is theirs? That one, good. Guessed correctly. Let's have them rush deployed, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. Doo -doo. Yeah, look at that concentration of force. <laughs> it's absurd. We are overstacking it to the fact that the supply is crunching, actually. Yeah, we shouldn't do that. Let's have you guys come down south a bit. We could do a simultaneous push through the uh, through uh, Sweden, Switzerland even. Everyone knows Sweden, right? That's that Central European neutral country. To be fair, that kind of describes Sweden too. <laughs> Is it northern? Griso, should paradox make South Africa interesting or keep it quiet and raise the game? Amer South America interesting or keep it quiet to raise the game speed? I think there should be a option on startup to delete uh, everything south of the Mexican-American border and just make this all wasteland. Or one country that never does anything that you can still trade with. Did you know that the global Granada campaign skipped 50 years? What? When? That doesn't sound right. <laughs> Resistance over here in Warsaw. That's annoying. I think we'll just we'll just learn to live with it though. The newest episode is fifteen hundred. Is that not right? I'll have to look into that after this. Thank you for the heads up. Alright, where's my justy? Six days. Six days. Part twenty seven at fourteen fifty six. And then I released something called part twenty in fifteen hundred. Wow. That is quite a way off. Let me let me look into that after the stream. Okay, Netherlands, come at me. We will storm through here. Let's just let's just activate some of these. Marvelous. I'd like a justification down here, please. 125 days. Okay. See you, Ark. Thanks for joining me. No, thank you, Ukraine. I don't want your crappy divisions. Such a good soundtrack, man. Why do you not have any orders? Ah, oh, right, there were ones down here. Making sure that the glorious actions of the uh, um, the Italians don't go in vain mm -mm -mm. Ch -ch 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 next to research sure more planes whatever we're not going to use them I think I'd rather just win <laughs> if it's all the same to you I think I'm just going to win. Hey Cody. Oh wait, this isn't an MP. I'm not obliged to always do MPs, you know. For the record.
Do, 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 do. Use force attacks to tanks at the start of the war. Very strong. It's true, but we don't have very many tanks to throw away. We'll use force attack if we need to, but right now we're already plowing through these guys without trouble, so it really doesn't feel very, very ne needed. As I say that, of course, we stall a bit. These attacks, I mean, they're not going well, but they don't really matter. Go back them up a bit. Yeah, don't get pocketed, for goodness sake. Just go take out Sam. Marvellous. You guys keep coming around. Good. But you are certainly right. Force attack at the beginning of the war. Very strong. There's no doubt about that. Doom, doom, doom. There goes Amsterdam. Probably giving us the capitulation. No, Brussels and Antwerp and a pretty big victory points, it looks like. Fair enough. Well, let's keep rushing in here. Marvellous. You prefer Star Trek attack. What? What are you talking about? Uh oh. Freeze? Hopefully just a multi tick. Quack. <laughs> Please come back to me, game. Yes. Good. Very concerned you were going to get a crash there, but. Fortunately, not today. Kaiserite's not always the most stable, unfortunately. Fair enough, really. It's a huge mod. Well, I don't know. It's not that big. Not if you compare it to like M&T. Like the mechanical changes it makes are virtually non-existent. Like there's some, but when you compare it to M&T, barely any. Do, 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 do. It's kind of unfair to compare anything to MT, isn't it? MT is better than most games, <laughs> just on its own. Of course, it can't stand on its own. It needs it. It needs E, but still. You see what I mean? Artillery barrage on Paris using big guns. Yeah, it's always fun. Do 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 Just give me a second here. There we go. Okay. Where were we? Oh yes, I was about to begin a storm through to Paris, wasn't I? March, tanks, march! Pin infantry pin. Glorious. MT is bad. What are you talking about? You have almost certainly never played MT. You do not know what you're talking about. Plus, you don't even like E4. You're not in a position to comment on MT if you don't like E4. It's just how it works. Remember the encirclement. Which encirclement? This one? Or another one? You played like three hours. Probably not get encircled here. The capital exploit one. Ah, yes, good point. Thank you for the reminder. Ah, yes, right, planes.
Man, they're really holding these uh, Dutch. Not for much longer, though. Not once I move tanks on Brussels. Do, do, do. So we just have to hope for not getting a World War One problem here. Where we push really close to France, uh, to the Paris, but then get a uh, and get bogged down. We could avoid that. That would be very good. You should get a bonus when defending your capital, by the way. I think. That'd be fun. Christo has ruined every MP moment I've ever done. What are you talking about? I absolutely have not. Alright, there's the first major French pocket in Cologne. By which I mean the first major French pocket, and it is in Cologne. Not the first major pocket that we're going to get in Cologne. You know what I mean. There it goes. Brussels, now Antwerp and must fall. New leader. Sure, give me a... Yeah, air superiority attack, please. <laughs> Good lord. Tank's getting a little confused. Alright, there goes Netherlands. Fabulous. Which means everyone can redeploy to their true purpose. Bringing down the evil Cominards. Well, that exclusively like zero casualties, and Christo just sends 60 40 wits to stop me. Well, you should have, you know, gone good and beaten my 40 wits, shouldn't you? What am I supposed to do? Just let you win? Of course, we liberate Flanders. We liberate Indonesia. Take a sec, there's a few states in Indonesia. And the Netherlands. Which unfortunately deletes my battle plans. That's okay, we can re-establish them. Good. Keep charging in. No hesitation. The push must continue. And if the capital exploit does still work, this is the end. It doesn't. Oh, no, wait, we need the whole state. We need the whole state. I remember. Now it works. Yeah, okay, so that is it. You just have to hold, control the whole state in which the capital resides, and then, it, and then the capital exploit still works. <laughs> uh, well, that's going to trivialize this a bit. Ooh, what was that? Every time he says, yes, daddy, give you me more, I'll donate one bit. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm going to exercise my freedom to not do that. I don't need that. That's, it's, it's a penny, you know. You're offering me a penny. <laughs> if you make it a hundred bits, then I'll do it as many times as you like. But not for a penny. Can I cheer on my own channel? Oh, you can't. <laughs> they did a sale recently where one bit, where 500 bits cost like £1.50. Eight. Fine, you're no fun. Eight is not enough to persuade me to say things like that. I'm afraid. That's eight pence. <laughs> you're offering me eight pence. What would you do for eight pence, Zeke? <laughs> so who's a major in this war? Britain. It's actually just Britain and France. 
don't take the capital. Where are your men? Oh, those are the Swiss troops, right. Let's have 12 men in Circle Paris. Just permanently. So now we can just honestly wait for them to run out of supply. <laughs> because they will. Hello, I guess Christian doesn't know the last Good Over Granada is the wrong episode. Yes, he does, but I'm afraid there's bad news about that. I may have deleted the intervening episodes, because I thought they were all uploaded. Which is a problem. <laughs> so we may have lost a huge chunk of the Global Granada campaign, which sucks. Both because that's, you know, work I did that I won't get paid for. And because it means you lot, guys, miss out on a whole bunch of the Global Granada campaign. Which is sad. What do you reckon? Can two of our divisions take these guys? I bet, I bet no. How about with massive air support? I bet still no. Send some reinforcements to kick them out. The darn Brit Brits. Always taking Sherberg, eh? Cody, no telling my loyal viewers to get out. <laughs> dum, da, dum, dum. All right, begin the offensive. Let's finish France and finish this thing. So many front lines. Yes, but don't worry. We'll sort them soon. Ah. So you know what we'd do next. We'd build a huge fleet, we'd build a bunch of carriers, we'd research then build a bunch of carriers, and it would take like another three years to win the Phrygian War. Or we'd build a bunch of planes, then we'd power drop into, into Dover or whatever. But we're not going to bother. They're not loyal, they're disgraces. <laughs> Paolo is very loyal. Operation Sea Lion. Hmm. Yes, but we're not going to bother, because it's a foregone conclusion that we would win, and I think this is enough. So I'll do a little bit of lore for you before I end the stream to explain what happened with England. How many men do you have? Not many. So they would be a pushover. Italy wouldn't be as much of a pushover because they're quite narrow and mountainous, but still we'd crush them with our tanks. Doom, 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 doom. Doom. All right, it's speed five. Let's get this done. You have 2,000 factories. I need to beat the US to get like three achievements. Cool. Shouldn't be too hard. I need to max out my Hoi 4 achievements again. I had it 100% a little while ago. But I haven't kept got all the new Waking the Tiger ones. Do, do, do. Yeah, with the capital surround exploit, pretty trivial. And you know, if you're annoyed that I used the capital exploit, fair enough, it's your right, but we obviously would have won anyway. Read the message above, it is hard. I have to, I need to beat the US to get like three achievements. It's 1985, so 56. Just use nukes. Just nuke. Every time they put a lot of divisions in a, in a tile, nuke it. You kill, like, half the men. And just build 40 width tanks and do a bunch of encirclements. Just keep doing encirclements. Don't move the border much. Focus heavily on encirclements. And just keep doing encirclements until they have no men left. Encirclements are even better than nukes. Crank the divinity a bit. Fall of Barcelona. Nice one, Bulgaria. Take Grenoble, Grenoble, and Toulon, and Nice, and all this good stuff. 
Mexico let me put 2,000 fighters, they put 15k, yeah. Put self propelled uh, anti air in your tank divisions if you need it. Alright, take Paris. Let's end this thing. I think Paris will be enough. Okay. On this day, with the total capitulation of the French government after a devastating German campaign, the Entente. Sorry. <laughs> the. Uh, the Communard powers sought to surrender to the Entente, begging them to occupy their remaining lands and save them from the massive German menace. The Entente, seeing themselves massively outgunned by the Germans, decided to remain on the other side of the Pacific for now, in exchange for promises from the Germans that Britain would be returned to its original monarchist roots. The French government surrendered and a puppet government was set up, Italy re remained in a state of civil war for some time, but eventually massive German arms supplies caused the Northern Republic to win their heart-fought struggle and take over the Socialist Republic of Italy. The Iberian Federation remained communard, but firmly a communist nation under heavy influence from Germany. Their economic policy and currency was eventually dictated to them. The Ukraine, Russia and Siberia... Uh, sorry, the Ukraine and Baltic states gained certain degrees of autonomy after their hard foot fight on the side of Austria. The Russian state in Siberia were heavily, and Finland were heavily exploited for resources after they stubbornly refused to join the correct side of the fight. Thus is the history of the Austrian Phoenix. Thank you for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the campaign. I'm sorry we ended it so quickly, but it was pretty good fun. Iran won their war, that's amazing. Interesting. Anyway, thank you ever so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you in the next episode, or rather the next series. See you then. Bye-bye.